Hello there, welcome to another episode of World of Tanks with Ungainty Titan, and we're here in Kazarine Pass. Standard battle, and I'm in the T10, another one of the uh, tier 9 battles that I've had been at the last uh, period of time. Have not yet um, progressed the T10 any anything since I last spoke to you about it. Well, I've progressed it a little bit, but it still hasn't reached Elite. However, this battle is comparable, I think, in some ways. It has a lot of parallels with the battle that I had last Monday with the E75. And um, it could be interesting to actually look at both games side by side or back to back or something like that. Just to compare and contrast the differences between the two tanks. Normally when I play Kazarine, I tend to go out in the field and I actually tend to go west. Um, I tend to look for situations in the west to exploit. Sometimes I go east, but I very, very rarely go to the Wadi or the ravine in the centre. I think it's a bit of a trap, and uh, once you're in there, it's very hard to disengage and do other things. But, in the last game of the E75, I decided to go this way, and I decided also to go this way in um, this particular game, and I thought be an interesting sort of to show both um, or to have both of them relatively close together so that you could watch one and still have the memory of the other one in your head now unlike the previous game with the E75 I didn't come to this corner I went to the one behind me and covered the E75 that went to this corner whereas uh, in this case pretty much everyone's pushing up now E, the mob of tanks that went in, in the, initially haven't, some of them have left quite a lot of exploited out of the eastern side of the map where there are no enemies um, nobody's practically nobody seems to have gone west actually um, which is usually a fatal concession uh, however I'm stuck here now at the corner and I can't really side scrape with the guys behind me so I'm forced to peek a boom, which is a lot riskier, especially with the numbers of tanks in front of me, and trying to let as many of them shoot as possible um, before I poke out. A couple of shots fired, but the thing is, there's enough of them there. Okay, I'm going to try and attempt to side scrape, and the guys behind me are actually giving me a bit of room. But there is still a lot of shots incoming, so the rocks are protecting me to somewhat, but I'm going to try that. I don't have a lot to shoot here of the hatch of the uh, Jagdpanzer. I don't know whether I struck the barrel of the Conqueror or whether it um, actually reached as far as the Jagdpanzer at all. The Jagdpanzer at all. As you can tell, and with good reason, I don't really trust my ability to side scrape. I'm not very good at it. I always seem to get it wrong, and oh my god, there's a lot of stuff back there, including a hash bar. Um, the four FE405, the non-armoured companion of the uh, Death Star. However, I was very worried about this red tank that was up on the hill behind me, and it wasn't until I started driving out to deal with it that I realised there was a green tank up there with it. And the green tank has dealt with the red heavy. But I was worried about it, because I thought, if he came around behind us, he could cause havoc. However, the green tank is being circled by... Uh, a Woozy 132 and I'm just glad I came up because that was a nice kill um, we got the shot in when he was airborne and we let him ram us so we were tortoise tucking in behind that rock up there and the obvious thing to do because some of our guys are coming in at the back of the enemy but they're, they are in turn being surrounded is to come in around and help them from this side because with the exception of the tortoise, they don't be really in a position to shoot me. So, we bounce one off the Panzer, And I'm just pulling way back. Because I'm constantly worried that the tortoise will come out and actually intervene on this side of the fight. Where he'd be more effective against me. Put around round the Conqueror and ammo rack him. Um, tortoise is still engaged in whatever he's engaged in. He's shooting at some tank, obviously. And we come around again. And we bounce another one off the Jagdpanzer U100 and back up to see what the tortoise is doing. Wait for the reload, assess my options as it's coming on. Now the two 
guys down here begin to realize, I think the, oh, the Agpanzer has turned around. He realizes the situation has collapsed behind him and uh, I've taken out the Conqueror. So I push forward to get a better angle on the Jagdpanzer. Uh, we have now flat sides of it against facing us and we can penetrate from this angle um, directly, more or less directly perpendicular and just make sure I shoot over my allies rather than under them or rather into them and the tortoise has finally made his appearance so we pull back I want to track the tortoise and the plan was to track him and get around him but it was unnecessary because somebody just annihilated the tortoise with uh, one shot there at the end so I gotta keep pushing forward on the high ground we're already pushing on the low ground and They've run into a couple of enemy tanks, but I'm not going to intervene in that fight, I don't think. It's too far forward, there's another Type 4 Heavy spotted, and... Oh yes, well, there's one of them still alive. One of them is an E75, holding off uh, our team. Put a shot into the back of the E75, and that's the end of him. There is another Heavy tank still down there. But he's on the other side, and I'm not going to be able to do anything about it really. He's gone. So it's just the Type 5 and the artillery. So the artillery is around somewhere. And it's the artillery I'm kind of principally worried about because he could one shot me if he hits me in the right spot. And while I was looking for the artillery, I stumbled into the Type 4 Heavy. I kind of knew he was around, but I didn't know exactly where he was. I actually thought he was further, uh, further over, further to the east. So we deal with him first, the artillery is the other side there, that, um, that rock, and we just see enough of him. That we can get the shot in, but we don't get to finish him. We don't get the kill. And uh, he's finished off in the end, and that's it, it's game over. So a relatively straightforward victory, and surprisingly enough, despite given the fact that we completely... Um, didn't put any tanks out on the western side of the map. But then apparently neither did the enemy. Which is what made the difference there. Everybody just clashed in the middle and uh, we won the battle of attrition. Got a first class mastery, kamikaze. The bonus, uh, the operation that I won there is the boot camp operation and I've done very well out of that. Uh, the experience boosters have shortened out the grinds considerably. I also got um, a load of crew experience boosters that I've been saving up so I'll be using that to train up a crew for the AT25. Notice that the best uh, damage dealer on the enemy team was on a T-32. I wonder where he was positioned and who was he fighting against. He seems to have done really well for himself. Thank you for watching. I hope you really enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like and a share. If you've not already done so, please subscribe. I will catch you all again soon. Bye for now.